since up to now we have seen how to install the VMware ESXi either 5.0 or the 5.1 version and the next concept how to connect to the ESS host from the vSphere client So the IP address of the ESS server is the 192.168.138.100 is there. So the vSphere client means this will go for like any Windows machine. So I got Windows 2008's machine is there. So going for the command prompt. and check the IP address of this machine so I'm typing the command IP config so it had IP address is the 192.168.138.136 is there so now say ping space 192.168.138.100 so this is a hundred you can say it is IP address of the ESS host so from the vSphere client and try to test the communication see we got reply Say example, if you want to check your mails, what exactly we are using? We are using the any web browser. Maybe you want to open the google.com anything. We can go for the any one of web browser. Maybe Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox or maybe your Windows Internet Explorer. And the similar way, you want to connect to your ESS host. We require a front end interface or the front end software to connect to the your ESS host. So, how we can connect it now? See, one process is there. The first process I will show it. How to install the vSphere client. So, I am going for the post now. See, it has given the option download tools to manage this host from this IP address HTTP colon the IP address of the ESS host so now I am going for the display client open the web browser so here you can type it as HTTP colon double slash and IP address. This is the IP address of the ESS host 192.168.138.100. Say enter. See, we got this the option is there. So continue to this website. Just click here. So there you got multiple options here. See. Download this page client and a similar way download VMA vCenter server and the documentation and virtual appliances is available. So now I am downloading this page client from the internet. See to get this page. The first prerequisite your ESS host must be connected to internet. So my host is already connected to internet. Uh, but maybe you got some doubt. How did you find out whether your host is connected to internet or not? So I'm going for a 
customizing say press F2 key and type the password here we have the option test the management network is there press enter see we can able to ping to different IP addresses are the names also example here I'm typing the naming or the IP address say example I'll change the color better way So team space some www dot any site name some gmail dot com. So the IP address of gmail dot com is the seventy four dot one twenty five dot two thirty six dot one eighty one. So seventy four dot one twenty five dot. So you can type it. Seventy four dot one twenty five dot two thirty six dot one eighty one. Say enter to test it. Say enter. The resolving the address this IP address of the gmail.com see we got the ping reply is okay so this indicates your ESS host also is connected to internet now so now go for the vSphere client even the vSphere client also the mission we are planning to make it a client even this system also they also be connected to internet now just click on the download VSphere client now. So you want to almost you can say 347 MB is there. And most of the people they won't download this one. Better way what they can do is they will download separately and they will install it manually. But one of the procedures I'm showing here and how to download the VSphere client. Let us example maybe you have the only the ESS host CD is available but whereas if you don't have the vSphere client software and if you don't have the vCenter server software and if you want to download this is one of the easiest way so now click on save so now it's downloading So now the downloading is almost is over. So now open this folder. See we got the VMA VSphere client VA client or VMA VSphere client all is a 5.1 version. And remember one thing if the ASS host you can say the 5.1, so we require the client version also the 5.1 only. So this is the ESS host, you can see this one, VMware ESX 5.1 is there, even the client also we require the VMware, we 5.1 client only.
So if we download the 5.0 client, will not support. It will not work again. You have to reinstall or you can say update from the 5.0 to 5.1. So download it now. So just click on the installation of the VSphere client. It's very easy. So continue. Agreement. So where you want to save the files, the by default location it can in the C drive. Go for next, install. So accept the license agreement. So click on install for the .NET framework, which you require for the supporting. So the download file size almost you can set some 10 MB will be there. So click on install. So now it is starting with the, the VMware vSphere client installation now. So what are the supporting tools that are required now to go into install? So now it's completed. So click on finish button. So now we got an icon called as a VMware VSphere client icon. And if you want to connect to the ESS host now, just to open this icon. So here it asks me about the IP address or the cancel name. See, by the VMware VSphere client. We can able to connect to the selected host also or in the next class we will go for the vCenter server. So by the vCenter server we can able to connect to multiple hosts and we can able to manage a multiple host by the vCenter server. So now I am typing the IP address or I can say name of the your ESS host. So here the IP address of the ESS host IP address is 192.168.138.100 is there. So in this IP address box you can type 192.168.138.100. So we can use the naming conventions but to compute the naming conventions the first thing we have to configure the name resolution service DNS domain naming system that server you have to configure and that begins in the next tabs. So here you can type the username you can see the root and the username and the password here you can see the case institute. So I am typing the password with the abc underscore one to the high given. So this is a certificate warning for the client side. So just click on ignore. So 
So this is our first screen for connecting after connecting to the host. We got inventory and we got administration. Under this point, we got the roles and the system logs. See, most of the administrators they have the basic idea how to go for implementation job only. The pin like for how to install and everything. But actually, most of the companies they looking for the people who know the maintenance and support only. The pin. Or you want to perform the troubleshooting things. So the system logs you can see very important one. So the system logs will be there. So by the system logs we can able to find out where exactly errors are there. We can find out. So I'm going back now. See by default you got like this way. It can't inventory now. So this is actually the picture. So he connected to ESS host from the base pair right. On the top of the ESS host, now we can able to create the virtual machines. See most of the administration part as the VMware admin. So we have to work on these tabs only. So this is the host and getting started and the summary the summary means what are the manufacturer of the ESS host and how many CPUs are there and the licensing and number of the processes and number of the network cards I'm using right now and next point how much memory so the memory capacity and the processor capacity and the storage And next we'll go for the virtual machines. So these are all the tabs we can see one by one in the next class. So up to now we have seen like a how to download and install vSphere client and from the vSphere client how to connect to your ESS host. So like this way we'll go for home and inventory. In the next class, we'll go for how to create the virtual machines and how to install the operating system in the virtual machines so that we can see in the next class.